In this video, we will be taking a look at a no power limits plugin for your PS Vita. This plugin is a kernel plugin that removes some restrictions placed by the SCE power. As you can see right here in this kind of GIF, um, this guy is trying to scroll up his brightness and it's not working because there is a 77% brightness limit um, for the game he's actually playing. Now this plugin will actually remove these restrictions. Now it's quite complicated. As you can see, it talks about the power mode C or D and the power mode B. I I don't really understand this stuff, but what I do know is this plugin will let you bypass a lot of restrictions in games, including the brightness limit and the network features and this kind of stuff. It's a very simple plugin, but it might come in handy if you want to play a game on high brightness or you're having some issues with the network features, and this plugin is very easy to install. Now you can go to this link and you can install it, but we're going to install this via auto plugin because we like to do things a lot more easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my PS Vita. If you guys do not have auto plugin I will make sure to link that video in the description there is also an article about it on Wololo and just to note um, some people say the PS Vita might get quite a bit hotter um, especially on the um, new PS Vita so the kind of like slim one so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and install this using auto plugin on my PS Vita right now we're gonna test out a game maybe like God of War or something like that so let's go and install it and let's see what happens so the game we're going to test out is this one right here, it's called the God of War Collection. So this game normally has these issues, it has the 77% brightness and it also has the network error. Now I know the fat PS Vita, like the old one that I've got, I know this can get the network error. I don't know about the PS Vita Slim, I'm pretty sure that one has the brightness one. But we're going to go and start this up and we're going to see what happens anyway. So I'm just going to tap on start and let's see. Now I will try the brightness, what we're waiting for is that network error to appear um, it's not really an error it just says um, network um, connection won't work basically if you're playing this game so let's see if that appears so we've got a selection of God of War and God of War 2 um, I don't know what games um, have this kind of like brightness thing I don't know if it's only certain games I'm pretty sure it is um, the network thing hasn't actually come up yet um, let me I can actually check the brightness if I hold the home button um, we should actually for me, it lets me on full brightness, so think maybe that's only for the PS Vita Slim. We can also maybe test the game, see what happens. So there is the network features thing I was talking about. Network features might be disabled, this will actually fix that. Um, yeah, we can play a game I guess, or I can just jump into auto plugin right now and install it. Maybe I'll just wait for this to load. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to scroll through all of this. You guys get the idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this down. We're going to go and find auto plugin so we can install the no power limits plugin. Now you need the latest version of auto plugin to install this. So if you get an update message, make sure to go ahead and update. Um, or you can install the VPK manually. But what you can do, you can press X on plugins for Vita, install plugins, and we're going to go and find it. It should be under N, N for no power limits. So let's have a look. Have we got it here? And yes, we do. No power limits by Electric Electri, I think. I'm not sure. A PSV to kernel plugin that removes some restrictions. This is the one we want. Choose our URO, UXO, if you've got an SD Vita. Press X to install it. Please wait. Has been installed. And then we're just going to press start to exit. And we are going to give our PSV to a quick restart. Okay guys, so what we can do once it's restarted, you can run your custom firmware again, or of course if you've got Enso, don't worry about it. But once this is done, we can actually test out the game, and everything, everything should be fine. I'm pretty sure there's 77% brightness issue, I don't know if I'm choosing the wrong game, um, but I'm pretty sure this is only for the PS Vita Slim. Not 100% sure about that, as I don't actually have one to test, um, but... Yeah, we can go ahead and start the game, and let's see what happens. The Power Limits plugin should actually be running as we speak. Um, I don't know um, if it's going to make my PS Vita hotter. So it might be a plugin only to turn on sometimes. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to start this up anyway. Okay, so then I can choose a game. Maybe I'll choose two this time. And we can actually open up the settings and see what happens so i'm just going to hold the home button now normally when i hold the home button i guess it says network error or is it on this screen i can't remember so we didn't get that network error thing i don't think maybe it fixed it so that did lag a bit so i'm guessing now full brightness would work and no network error anymore so there you go that is how you install the plugin that is how you fix the network error and the 77 percent brightness if you're on the um 
PS Vita Slim. Now I might have a brightness plugin enabled, to be honest I can't quite remember, but it seems to work anyway. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.